Okay, this is the cheapest 911 so far that I've actually owned. This is a new purchase I just got, and I want to talk a little bit about it, what I purchased it for, and I typically don't make these kind of videos. Today is my day off. It's Happy New Year's to everybody. Today's the first, so I decided to come in, do some work, and talk a little bit about this red 911. I think it's a beautiful looking car. This is a Gen 1, uh, 1999, so for the United States, this is going to be the first generation. There were some 1998 cars here. Um, the car is beautiful. It has a really nice paint job, I would say. Um, you can see from the color of the bumper, it's been repainted, but that's uh, expected for this year. So what I like about this car is I bought it for pretty much next to nothing. And why that is, is because it has rod bearing knock. The rod bearings themselves fell apart. Um, I cannot even crank this car because if I do, the rod bearings are just going to destroy the crankshaft and then I won't even be able to rebuild it. So you might be able to buy this car really cheap. Don't pay more than $5,000 for a car like this. This one was much less. I bought it because of the wheels. I really like the wheels. I probably would have never purchased it because to rebuild an engine like this can cost you, I'm talking about a real rebuild like we do. You know, we go through the whole car, we redo the cylinders, we put brand new CP uh, pistons, Nicosil cylinders, the whole nine, crankshaft, uh, pretty much everything. It's a full rebuild, $15,000 just for like a, a nice modified rebuild with the new IMS and such. The problem, of course, with this one is not the IMS, which you hear a lot about, and they are problematic with the IMS. This one will have the dual row. I want to show you on the inside of the actual car, what condition it's in, and why you don't want to overpay. I'm not going to start it because it's going to knock. So uh, what's cool about it is that's a lot of car for the money. If you think about it, I mean, under $5,000, you got a car like this. Uh, this one has uh, 96,000 miles. I actually originally thought it only had like uh, much less but that's how i purchased i've actually purchased this from a customer he didn't want to rebuild the engine and i said well uh, he was in a crisis so he actually said hey let, let me sell it to you and, and i went ahead and took on this crazy project um let me show you um the interior right quick so if you come this way uh obviously we don't have a very nice looking interior um look at this Somebody's been trying to paint it and, and trying to do all this just garbage work. I mean, the back doesn't look too bad. I mean, we have a pretty nice looking uh, rear, um, but it, it's a pretty, pretty just junky looking car as far as interior. The steering wheel is crap. The shifter's got all this paint wore off of it right here. Uh, just not a very nice, not a very nice interior. So um, steering wheel is the same way. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is the roof, the back glass. So somebody actually tried to refinish and fix the convertible top. The glass was not, um, the glass was actually, this is not original glass. The glass was cut out, this plastic glass. And, and if you come close here, somebody cut this glass out and they glued another plasticky, vinyl looking glass i mean you can see the old glass something i noticed immediately when i was purchasing this car and i let the owner know i mean this one's got like a little cut here but it's not all the way through um right over here so the top is not in really bad shape but it's in not the best shape uh, i'm gonna open the rear trunk and just kind of go over a little bit of uh, some of the, the engine components here. All right, just your typical M96, well-maintained looking car, right? I mean, it's clean, it, it looks really nice. I love the, uh, the uh, cable-driven throttle body. You know, that's my favorite. And that's kind of why I'm obsessed with these cars. I, I love the 996 generation, you know, even though I have the 997s and I enjoy those the most, the 996 is kind of like the hated car 
bunch of different reasons, one being the first HTO car with a bunch of different problems. But a lot of the problems are related to the owners. Uh, the biggest problem is people are not changing their oil, they're driving them 100,000 miles without doing any major services and then they expect the engines to last. You know, they don't want to change their spark plugs every four years or 40,000. They don't want to change their oil every five, 6,000. That's a cheap maintenance and that is why these rod bearings will let go. One of the biggest problems is cheap oil, extended oil intervals, and just not using a good quality oil. We use top quality oils. We will not have this experience with my personal cars. But the cars that are being tracked or driven really hard, they call these the integrated dry sump systems, which basically means it's a wet sump pump. It's not a dry sump. So high G-forces, that oil will slash to the left to the right, allowing possible oil starvation in the engine, and that's how your rods will destroy. And that's probably what happened to this one. That all can be prevented just by, you know, there's a couple modifications you can do. Of course, there's a deep sump pumps, deep sump uh, pan, there's AccuSump uh, oil pumps, that's like more for the track. Uh, but these cars really shouldn't even be tracked because they're not really designed for it unless you're going to modify, build an engine kind of like we are building right now. Uh, but there it is. This is the 911 that um, I just acquired. I, I, I don't know um, what else I'm going to do with this car. I'm guessing I'm going to rebuild the engine. I don't think I'm going to use it for um, just a parts car. I do have another engine I can put in here, but I don't think it's worth it because it has so many miles on this car. Um, but if you're looking for an M96 car, an M96 engine car, uh, 996 Generation 1, that's a bargain car. I mean, we're talking about $99,000 when they were brand new. Yes, you know, it's not the best shape, you know, we, we, we just went over, but it's still an amazing vehicle for the money. You know, if you pick one of these up for three, dollars $4,000 with a blown engine, I mean, you're going to have to put a lot of money into fixing it. Book on this car is probably fifteen, seventeen thousand dollars $17,000, clean condition. So if I rebuild this engine, it might not even be worth it. You know, and that's kind of, I just bought it because I'm kind of a hoarder. I like collecting these things. And uh, of course, this is my other 996 that's getting ready to go. That's a convertible as well. This one I'm just getting rid of. Um, but as far as the generation 996 car for the money, it's the best. So um, again, want to thank you guys for uh, watching. Just had a little bit of free time to go over this car. Uh, super awesome car. If you own one, um, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching and y'all have a nice day. Comment below if you have questions. Thank you.